Hi, Joe Alton, MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival medicine website doomandbloom.net. Once community widespread occurs, we're going to have to have a plan of action, one that involves changes in our lifestyle. If you haven't put together a plan of action yet, it is time to do so. As no specific medicines cure or even treat COVID-19, we must turn to giving symptomatic relief to sufferers such as acetaminophen for fever and other drugs as needed. Other than that, we're going to have to turn to non-pharmaceutical interventions, otherwise known as NPIs. NPIs are strategies that help to decrease your chance of catching the infection. They include frequent hand washing with soap and water, use of alcohol-based hand sanitizers, and strict attention to respiratory hygiene. With regards to hand sanitizer, don't use one drop. Use a lot. Think your hands are now clean with one drop? No. Use more and your hands get good and wet and will indeed be much cleaner. If your hands are visibly dirty, however, alcohol-based hand sanitizer is not appropriate. Use soap and water. One of the most common ways to get sick is to touch a contaminated person or surface and then touch your face with your hands. You do this much more often than you think. Just ask a friend or family member to watch you for 15 minutes and count the number of times you absentmindedly brush your hand against your nose, mouth, and eyes. You'd be surprised how often it happens. Respiratory hygiene is meant to keep your family safe by decreasing airborne infectious particles and droplets. Besides frequent hand washing, it entails covering all coughs and sneeze with a tissue or at least your upper arm. Dispose of tissue safely in a covered waste receptacle. You want to cover your nose and mouth with a mask or cloth if you're sick and in the company of others. And you want to clean all surfaces that have been touched or coughed on by sick people with a disinfectant. The other MPI strategy is more social than personal. It's called social distancing, and it includes staying away from large crowds, not going to work if you're sick or a lot of people there are sick, keeping children home from school if necessary, avoiding public transportation, avoiding physical contact with others, even shaking hands is a great way to get infected. Keeping a distance of about six feet from other people. That's about the distance that large droplets can go when somebody coughs or sneezes. Isolating sick persons in your family from healthy ones. We've talked about survival sick rooms. Check out our video on that. All this seems to be almost paranoid to the average citizen, but indeed these are recommendations that are endorsed by U.S. government agencies in the event of a deadly infectious disease outbreak. The pandemic will reach the U.S., but that doesn't mean it will damage the country long term. Have a plan of action that decreases your chance of COVID-19, and you'll find that this too shall pass. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching.